Hello everybody, welcome. We are here at the 2023 Flower and Garden Festival. Finally again, it has been so long since we've been here, but we wanted to be here today because the springtime menu is actually finally been released at the Farmer's Feast, a brand new menu. And we're gonna try the whole menu out. I can't wait to try it. I love that booth, I think it's fantastic. So we're gonna try those off. Also, is Disney trolling us? I'm starting to think that they might be trolling us and we'll talk about that a little bit later. And I think we're gonna catch a ride. So we'll see how this goes. So come along with us, it should be a blast. Well, Disney's Harmonious has finally come to an end, much to the happiness of a lot of uh, non-fans, I should say. I didn't think it was that bad, actually. No, I, I kind of liked it. I liked it on the bridge. The Did first you... time I watched it, I didn't like it, but I was in a really bad location, like right at the front of the World Showcase. I couldn't even see. Yeah. Um, but when we stood over on the bridge, um, when you walk to the le uh, left, when you walk into the World Showcase, it was so much better. Yeah. So, yeah. We got a good view from the front, too, and I did a recording, which I'll link to. But that was actually a really good uh, show. I ended up kind of liking it towards the end. I feel like they made some improvements. I don't know if they actually did. I feel like I liked Harmonious more than Enchantment when Enchantment first came out. But then they improved Enchantment and made it better than Harmonious. But I do think that one thing everyone can agree on is that they're glad to see the barges go. The Stargate and the tacos, lovingly referred to as tacos or not so lovingly. Um, and you can see that it actually removed one of the barges. So the dismantling of Harmonious has continued and it's already started. You can see one big barge is gone. There's still three left. Stargate's still hanging out there, but it does look like they're doing some work on it, maybe uh, taking some of the arms and stuff off. Ooh, it's really windy right here. Um, but I did want to get a glimpse of that. I want to head into Club Cool now and take a look and see what drinks they have. Club Cool, if you've never been there, is uh, one of my favorite places to actually cool off in all of Disney World. It's a great place to just stop in there, grab a drink, get in some air conditioning. And they have lots of different cool Club Cool uh, Coca-Cola merchandise in there, as well as lots of frozen drinks, um, lots of Coca-Cola prod products, and different snacks and things. So it's a really great place to cool off. Now, one of the reasons I wanted to stop in at Club Cool is because I wanted to check out and see what drinks they had available because I'm starting to think that Disney was trolling us uh, the other day. We were here about two weeks ago, which was April 1st. We were here on April Fool's Day, and they had absolutely no drinks available except for Beverly. Beverly was the only drink that they had available on April 1st. I promise you, that is legitimately what happened. And at first I was like, ooh, I think that's just kind of a... They're out of all their products. But now I'm starting to think, I think they were trolling us. I think that was their way to actually troll us when it comes to Club Cool. Only having Beverly available, I mean, what's that about? And we came a couple of days later and we're here again today and they have most of the drinks again. They are out of a couple, but they're definitely not out of all of them and they have more than just Beverly. So what's up with that, Disney? I wanna know. Disney, I know you watch all of our stuff. Comment below. Were you trolling us on April 1st? Was that your April Fool's Day joke for us? Only having Beverly available in Club Cool? I think it was. So we stopped here in here at the Creation Shop, which is the main store here at Epcot. Um, it actually has a bunch of everything in here. And look what I found today. Ta -da! Look, it's Moana. But not only is it Moana, it's Pua and Hey Hey. Stop. It's kind of like a little nesting doll. It's $34.99. It's soft. It's super cute. I also noticed they got a lot of, I saw all the Moana merch. Um, I thought all the Moana merch the other day um, at Animal Kingdom, but actually they got in a whole new kids line of clothes and accessories, um, which are really, really cute. This little dress is $31.99. Actually, I think that's a shirt because it comes with these little shorts. Yeah, Look how cute the, the shorts are. And my favorite thing is this dress. If I had someone to buy this for, I would, but I don't. Look at it. I love the colors and the style of it. It's so cute and it is, it's $44.99. But I think that's worth it. I love it. 
They got a whole new line of munchlings in. Munchlings are so cute. They're kind of like Disney characters infused with food, <laughs> which is good. But look at this. I love this. I saw this online. It's $24.99, which I don't think is bad as a, like a little accent um, in your home. I think it's really, really cute. Good stitch. And then they have... I didn't know, I, at first I thought maybe this was squirt, but then I was like, no, I don't think it is. But look, it's squirt as an ice cream sandwich. Squirt. Super cute. It's definitely squirt, and it's super cute. Uh, wait, it doesn't say what its price is, though. I don't know what the price is. $34.99? Look at the top. It's that, um, was it like conca or concha bread? Uh, that has all that like crackling stuff on it, which by the way is delicious. I love that kind of bread. That's what his head is. Ice cream sandwich. I'm going to guess he's a peppermint ice cream sandwich. I wish the big ones had scents, though. I wish they were like the lots of bear and had scents, because the little ones have scents, but the big ones don't. I think that, I feel like that's a miss. I don't know why. They need to have scents. Right behind me, we're going to stop here at the Farmer's Feast, which is right out here near Test Track. Um, and this, this is probably one of my favorite booths that they have at Epcot, because it's unique in that it has different menu options at different times of the year. There's actually three different menu items, or three different menus with three items each uh, for different portions of the Flower and Garden Festival. Right now, it just rolled over into their springtime menu, which runs from April 9th to May 20th. So they have three new food options that we haven't tried here before. And I can't wait to try them. They all look fantastic. So again, I just love that this booth is unique and that it has different menus that rotate throughout the festival. Flower and Garden Festival is one of the longest festivals. And so I feel like all the other booths should also do that and have different food options for later on in the festival. But at least this one does it, so we're gonna grab them. Okay, we got all of our food and I am actually pretty excited. Are you? Yeah, it all looks pretty good. Hopefully it is, I don't know. <laughs> I don't see. know what to start with. What do you wanna start with? I'm gonna start with fish just because I don't like old fish. And I think it's weird to get fish at one of these, but Nick already had fish this um, he did. This uh, flower and garden, and he liked his, so I was like, maybe I'll try it, because it's swordfish, and I do love swordfish. So, we'll see if it's any good. I like, like, fish for me needs to be, like, almost like chicken texture. Like that thicker, like, shark or king mackerel type texture, salmon. I'm not a big fan of, like, the mushy fish, but Ew. whatever. Oh, Ooh, yeah, show it off. What do we got? What do we got? It looks good. It looks good. Coming in, it's coming into focus. Focus, I'm willing it to focus. Focus. I now, don't think that I, did anything. I did see something on here that I will, I'll, I might try a tiny bit of. It said pea puree. I don't like these. So I won't be trying that, but the vegetables and the fish, I will be trying. I'm not a big fan of pea puree either. Or peas. Although I haven't tried, I don't know if I tried it's pea puree. It's pea and mint puree. I'm gonna try it. Grilled asparagus with lemon. I don't know. Salt. I don't know how to say it. Um, if I can find a it. Oh, beurre blanc. It's a beurre lemon beurre blanc. blanc. Yeah, lemon beurre blanc. Hello. I don't know exactly. Okay, well, I already think I'm not going to like it because I cut into it and it's really rubbery. And it's not like flaky like this should be at all. It's like solid. I me. like mine thicker though, so maybe yeah, it'll be good. Yeah, but it's not, I like it thicker and flaky. But flaky? Yeah, that's true. Maybe it's just swordfish. I don't really eat swordfish that much. Ooh, she took a second bite. It can't be that bad. It's not that good either. It's not? No, I'm not going to eat it. Is the texture bad or the flavor? It's the texture. I don't like the way it's cooked. The flavor is fine. There's some sort of spice on it though, which I wasn't expecting. I'm not touching it. Um, no. I'm not, I'm not, I'm like, not I have to get that. a drink out after this, like immediately. We need to eat something different. What else is on the plate? What is that, a potato? Potato. It's like a dark black, oh, it's a purple. A purple potato. It's good. I'll try it in the pea puree. Pea and mint puree. Yeah, let us know what the puree tastes like. Is it no good? It's no good? No. <laughs> It's 
not good? No. Does it, I hate it. Does it hate taste it, like hate a pea? It, hate it, hate it, hate it, hate does it. Does it taste like a pea? Yeah. Does it taste like they put a peppermint piece of candy in a, in a bunch no, of peas? No, I didn't even taste mint. I just taste pea. <laughs> Did you get any of that in your mouth? Asparagus? Asparagus is cooked really well. So I like the vegetables. <laughs> I like the potatoes and the asparagus. I like nothing. What's Don't that other this. sauce? There's like a white sauce in there too. With a gr there's like a green part and a white sauce. A white I sauce. That the oh, the lemon beurre blanc. <laughs> cuckoo, cuckoo. So, yeah, I don't get this. No. Uh, and it was eight dollars and twenty-five cents, which is the more expensive thing on the on the menu. So you didn't like. It wasn't worth it. No. Uh, it sounds like the sides were good, but the hero of the dish, the swordfish, wasn't good. The flavor was bad of the swordfish, or just the texture? The flavor wasn't bad. The flavor was fine. Okay, so if you're not picky-ish... Don't get it. If you like fish and you want to eat fish, don't get this. Okay, yeah. She's just, she's just straight good. out coming up and saying it's not good. good. It's no good. So pass. Okay, well, pass. that's disappointing. But we have a second dish, which hopefully takes some of the bite off. We got to show it off. What is it? What'd you get? What's the other one? Um, it's a grilled vegetable. Bruschetta? Bruschetta! A bruschetta! Willing it to focus. Let me give it the willing. Willing it to focus. Vibes. Hey, there it is. There's a flower on There is that. a flower. Um, now, rumor has it that a lot of the edible flowers that you find in the dishes at this festival come from the land pavilion. I feel like I've seen that flower. And we have eaten one of those almost exact <laughs> flowers. It was in like a, a drink or something last year. And the flower specifically said it was from the land of yeah. Which I think is cool, because I can say I've actually eaten something from the land pavilion. Because you know how on that on the on that little cruise they're like they're like however thousands, I should know it by heart by now. <laughs> how many times we've written it. Anyway, it says like however many thousands of pounds of whatever produce and stuff is actually used in the food at the at the in Epcot and around Disney. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna pretend like this flower is one of the things from the land. So we're getting to eat another thing from the land pavilion. Um, are you gonna do the fork thing? I think you should just pick it up and chomp on it. No, it's too Look messy. Look at that, that's a whole, you can do that. Look at that, just pick the whole thing up. It didn't work, it almost fell, it almost fell. Here, I'm just gonna rip it. Look at that, there you go. I ripped off a big chunk of it and got stuff all over my hands, but whatever. I'm gonna take a rip. So this is marinated peppers, zucchini, squash, artichokes, goat cheese. I like goat cheese when it's on certain things. It overpowers in other situations. Balsamic glaze on a grilled ciabatta bread. Mmm. Mmm. Already. Mmm. As soon as it hit, I was good to go. Cause that like crunchiness of the bread hit right away. And that balsamic just cuts through that sweetness of the grilled vegetables. It's really good. And that goat cheese topper, a little sharp hit of cheese there. This is busting. The vegetables are cold, but they're supposed to be. But they I actually cold. like that. Yeah. It's a very fresh like yeah. flavor. I, I, I like it a lot. Have we had this before? Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, honestly, the, when I saw it and I read the, the vegetables that were on top of it, it felt weird to me, you know, it feels like I'm eat the flour. not the normal stuff you would see on a bruschetta, like uh, tomatoes and, you know, I don't know, olives and garlic and stuff and onions. Tell him it's bruschetta, not whatever he's saying. Bris, bruschetta. Bruschetta. I don't know what it is. Um, I like it. I like it too. I keep eating it. I love roasted vegetables though. Love roasted vegetables. Like they're like my favorite thing. So, so they're better. really good. It's better than the swordfish. Oh, I don't even want to think about the swordfish. You're gonna chop that from your memory. So this was five dollars. This is worth it. Um, but That's we saved the best for last. I hope. I'm sure we didn't, because I have a feeling it's going to be another one of these. This yeah, doesn't look it. good. This doesn't look good, but I feel like it will be good, hopefully. But it doesn't look good. What is it? Mmm. 
This is the strawberry rhubarb upside down cake. Which sounds good, but it does sounds not look good. appetizing. Um, it says it has a creme fraiche whipped cream on top. Um, I'm going to assume the creme fraiche has no flavor. I'm just going to go in and say it now. I'm, I'm just going to say it right off the gate. Tell me. It has a little bit. It does? There's also, by the way, a flower. We're just going to assume, once again, that is a non-focusing flower from the land. Um, edible flower. I'm eating this one since you ate the other one. Can I eat it? I Am I allowed? It doesn't taste like anything. I'll eat, I'll eat a petal off of it. Whatever. Creme fraiche, you said, is not bad. Yeah. Actually, has a little bit of sweetness to it. Yeah. A um, little bit. Not a lot. Well, it's falling apart. It's hard to pick up without it falling into pieces. I like it. I wish the creme fraiche had a little bit more sugar. But I like it. I like the text. I, I, it doesn't look that appetizing, but it is good. This is good. I like it. I wish it had this, like, just more, just a tad bit more sugar. But this is right up my alley. I love strawberry stuff, so. All right, I don't know. We'll see. Um, I got, like, kind of a, a large bite here. We'll see how this goes. Mmm. It's actually really good. Yeah. It's wow. Good. I'm surprised. I thought this was going to be a dud. A dud supreme. I'm telling you, I really did. Um, wow, this is awesome. Mmm. Mmm. What's going on with Disney and their desserts all of a sudden? I know. The fish, disgusting. I'm Kicking it up a notch. I'm traumatized. When I have, this is why I don't like meat. And don't eat it very often because I'm so picky. And I have it. We'll just ignore him. When I have bad meat, I won't eat meat again for like a really long time. So don't get that. I did another walk-off triple. Nobody Technically cares. a walk-off. You can't do a walk-off and a triple. It has to be a homer, but whatever. I did another triple. That was really good. Uh, yeah, it was. I liked it. I'm surprised. I feel like, um, I feel like Tamatoa okay. from Moana. Oh, you can. You continue to surprise me. Remember when he's like, "Oh yeah." You can't run from me, and he's like, "Oh no." I didn't but know you that can. was his name. <laughs> yeah, Tomato isn't his name or something like I that. I don't know. Shiny. I'd rather I be shiny. <laughs> yeah, Tomato. I feel like that's his name. If that's not his name, whatever. I just we'll just him say the shiny. Guy. The crab. <laughs> yeah, he's like, he says, he doesn't he say that? He says something like, "You can't run from me." Oh, you can. You keep surprising me. Yeah, I love him. Disney keeps surprising me with their desserts lately. I don't know what's going on. All of a sudden, they were just like, I think they like cut the hole in the bag for the sugar a little bit bigger finally. So we're actually getting some sweetness in the desserts, which we don't normally get. And this was only four seventy-five. Yeah, that's worth it. Worth it. Get the I think that was popping. And the strawberry, is it strawberry rhubarb? Yeah, strawberry, strawberry rhubarb. rhubarb upside down cake. Fun fact, I've never actually known what a rhubarb is. I've seen one, it looks but like I still red don't celery. know what yeah. it is. It looks like red celery, so I don't... Is it a veg... It looks like a vegetable, but I think it is a vegetable. It doesn't taste like a vegetable. It doesn't I don't look like anything I would ever I don't know what it is, so until if you it's know, in a pie. let me know. Um, two hits here, one not hit. So two out of three is not actually bad for the new springtime menu. Yeah. Uh, the uh, fall... Me or the uh, What was the previous menu? What was it called? I don't think it was fall. Early Bloom? I think it was the Early Bloom menu. I think that's what it's called. Early Bloom menu. That one was pretty good too, but this one, two out of three is not bad. Um, and then we have a summer, I think, or late bloom or something like that menu coming up. We'll have to check it out here in a couple of, it's like a month away, so not bad. I think we're going to run in here to Grand Fiesta, one of my favorite rides actually. It's not a lot to it. It's kind of a very simple, slow-moving ride. I just love it because, A, it's in such a cool building. This Mexico pavilion is absolutely amazing. There's so much cool things. Plus, it's super air-conditioned in here, so when you want to get out of the heat, this is a great place to do it. And there's never a line. I love this ride. I love it. Which one of the three Cabaneros is your favorite? Donald. I mean, it has to be Donald. It's got to be Donald.
What? What a fun day we had. So much fun. I feel like we did a ton of things. Uh, we checked out some new merch. We got new food. What do you think of the springtime the, the springtime menu? Um, two out of the three things was, were good. Don't get good. the fish. <laughs> yeah, don't get the fish. But otherwise, we did we, we did pretty good. We got to ride some rides, and Disney is definitely trolling us. I'm telling you, they're trolling us. April Fools. I mean, I know it's two weeks ago, but this is the first time we've been here <laughs> since then. So I was like, we should talk about that. I forgot we didn't mention that. April Fools, I swear they were trolling us. Anyway, we hope you've enjoyed this content. It was a fun episode for us, fun to make. So let us know what you think. Let us know what you thought of this episode. If you agree, disagree, want us to check some different food items out, we will definitely hit them up. Until we see you next time, the noble way is the easy way. Bye-bye, everybody.